In the Ligue Nord American de Hockey League, you will witness one of the worst cheap shots we've come across in some time. Derek Parker of the Laval North Petroliers is going to lay out former NHL man Patrick Bordalo because from this piece of video right here, he refused to fight. <laughs> teammate of Bordelos would jump in to stick up for his man, but the damage was clearly done. Blade of Steel would write of the incident, The LNAH has a reputation as one of the toughest leagues in North America, if you couldn't tell, with teams primarily having lots of enforcers on their roster, like Parker. Things tend to get out of hand when any game is played, and this was no exception. Parker went too far by getting a shot in when Bordalo wasn't expecting to fight. When you injure a teammate the way Bordalo did, you have to be okay with answering the bell. If you aren't, or in this case, say no, be prepared for the consequences. Hawks Insider would add of the league, most players are paid under the table, and some former NHL enforcers are featured on rosters. Over the course of its existence, this league has gained a lot of popularity for a variety of reasons, many of which are not appealing to some audiences. At the time of the cheap shot, Parker, the man who laid the blow, a vicious blow at that, was widely viewed as a typical hard-hitting enforcer with zero goal-scoring quality. Actually, at the time of this hit, one goal-scoring quality. Just to rattle off a few, by the way, biggest cheap shot artists that come to mind in this sport, Rafi Torres, an enforcer who played for the Islanders, the Yotes, Edmonton, Columbus, Vancouver, San Jose, and the Buffalo Sabres. This clip can't not mention Donald Brashear getting, let's be real, attacked by Marty McSorley. If you have no idea what the hell we're talking about, YouTube it and come back. In 2000, he cheap shouted Brashear and would testify the assault charge levied against him was somehow, some way, an accident. He was eventually found guilty of assault. It was another historic decision in the world of hockey. The first of its kind, Dino Cicerelli, who used his hockey stick like a baseball bat and landed numerous cheap shots on Luke Richardson, unlike McSorley, Cicerelli would spend a night in jail for his actions. Wayne Mackey hitting Ted Green in the late 60s right on the head was a fight the NHL truly wishes never occurred, and they also don't want you talking about it too much. Sports History Network wrote, Mackey had gotten up, swung his stick with the heel of his stick, struck Green on the temple. It wasn't evident right away, but the blow crushed part of his skull and left Green partially paralyzed, caused his speech to be slurred. Green, while his body was convulsing, tried to get up but was unable to. Mackey would be acquitted of assault charges. Then there was Dave Forbes, who was indicted for the damage he inflicted on Henry Boucher, a Native American hockey player. The charge aggravated assault. The case was portrayed as a pivotal moment in sports. The jury couldn't reach a verdict. Boucher's career was cut short. Look, there are plenty of examples, including Dan Maloney sucker-punching Brian Galeni. If you all would like to see any deep dives on any of these fights, the impacts felt, and the residual effects from the top down, leave a thought in the comments. Thanks for watching.